Like I said before, I am so happy with how couplets are performing in our city. They're really my favorite. These one way with these lovely protected bike roads have just been so helpful for our city. And I love leaving the space in between because like I said, provides opportunity for little things like this farmer's market and green space and just more connectivity. Hey everybody, it's Joy. Hello to returning friends and welcome if you are new. Here we are back in Mordelago where I'm using the concept of the 15 minute city to build a pedestrian utopia and city skylines. But guys, the thing I wanted to do today, I think is got to be put on hold because we got problems. So we have quite a bit of abandonment and I've gone through and this is mostly not enough good. So we are going to address that today through expanding our new neighborhood. But hey, first, if you enjoy today's video, give it a thumbs up, ring the bell and subscribe. All right, we've got some generic goods over here near our cargo and passenger station. And we also have this farm, but we clearly need more. By the way, how cute are these farms? I love that episode. Additionally, we do have our fishing industry, which it's just not enough. We need more. I mean, we're not even making enough goods to make any reach our warehouses right here. So yeah. We got a problem. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna use Move It to fix this gym because the community still needs a place to go work out. So we'll do that there. Okay, let's let's fix this. Oh, this is the liquor store. This is also important. <laughs> let's fix that for people. Okay, let's get started. And we're gonna use our new area over here to address this goods issue. So over in our new neighborhood, I'm gonna bring in more fishing. We need to expand our fishing industry. It makes so much sense with the map that we're on. I also wanted to create an old school industrial vibe waterfront. So using a lot of the generic industry buildings that come with the vanilla game that have that kind of brick feel to create that vibe. Like I imagine this place in the future, they might take some of these old industry buildings and turn them into cool lofts. That's kind of the vibe I went for in this area. The thing that was really important, sticking with the concept of our 15 minute city and making sure that we have lots of workers really close by to the, where they can walk to work. And then we need to make sure that we add services to this whole area. And again, just make sure this whole neighborhood gives everything they need within 15 minutes. So that way we are sticking to our concept, but solving our not enough goods issue. All right, guys, you're seeing super speed right now because usually in my videos, I will plan this stuff out ahead of time. I'll do some playing in the game ahead of time, figure out how I want an episode to go, figure out how I want things. But you are seeing the raw process today because work has been super crazy. So I didn't have time to do a lot of the prep that I like to do ahead of time. So I apologize for that. But I thought I would leave in my process of just kind of messing with stuff till I figure it out. <laughs> One thing I really like to do once I have all my fishing routes laid out is I like to take a ride on each route and make sure each uh, fishing route is efficient as possible. I like to get it as close as I can to like that. 99, 100% just as the boat is pulling in. Um, I don't know if some of you are obsessed with that. I am, and I know these look really messy, but trying to stick to making these the most efficient possible vers versus like visually appealing fishing routes, which is kind of opposite to how I play the game, I realize, but sometimes I think in this case, it's better to be more efficient than have the boats looking like, because this just looks like a hot mess, I know. But it ended up turning out really well. We got all the, I got all the routes laid out, so they're all very efficient and working well. The next thing I did was get a basic layout for our generic industry area and start thinking about how we're gonna um, connect pedestrians and just, making this industrial area feel just as part of the neighborhood as any other place. Um, and then making sure that we are 
Just also creating a little bit of barriers in between where there's going to be you know, housing and businesses and industrial. Full disclosure, like I said, usually I kind of plan these out, things out ahead of time. Today you're just seeing me basically play the game. Um, I end up completely changing <laughs> change this area a little later on and I'm really happy with how it comes out, but usually this is stuff I figure out before I film. But I thought today, why not? Let's just leave it in here and you guys can see me just, like I said, just playing the game and the process. Um, so that's, that's what we're gonna do today. So now we get to the point of the video where I'm realizing we need to add some high density to solve uh, not enough workers so that we can solve our not enough goods. I was gonna save this pedestrian um, neighborhood uh, for another video, but we're just gonna get into it today, which is fine. <laughs> so what I wanted to do with this area is use the high density green city buildings and build up this really cool pedestrian focused neighborhood and square that has all the services. So I just went ahead and that's what we did today. So again, I really like how it turns out. You guys are just seeing me more in my raw process with this um okay so with this um pedestrian neighborhood this is where we're going to bring all of the services for this community and they're going to live in this neighborhood it's going to be great for all the people who live right here they can easily walk we'll definitely also add in some public transit i'm just built banning cars here we add in parking we add in a park it just becomes an area that is highly desirable the other thing i do is i make sure this whole area is marked schools out so that people that live here we're encouraging them to go down and work in the industry area once I got the workers in, this is the time I came back and realized I did not like any of this industry area. So I completely started all over. I changed the road layout and I really love how it turns out now. It comes out really nice. I make sure to add back in the one-way system, which is really important in this area. And then I used Find It to really hand pick what buildings I want in this area and then I also pre-think about where I want some pedestrian paths to be um, in this area as well. So now you're just seeing my process of me just going through and figuring out what I want where and then we get to watch it all grow. So I was having so much fun detailing. I didn't realize my whole entire hand-picked, beautiful old school industry area decided to level up because I'm a bonehead. <laughs> I forgot to mark them all historical. I was so mad. <laughs> oh. So I had to redo this whole area, but it's okay. And this is what happens in the game. This is, this is real life 
with some joy in city skylines today guys so i get this all fixed up and then i get back into doing my favorite thing which is bringing this whole community together with detailing let the game run for a bit and we still had a not enough goods issue so I decided to add in a little bit more fishing and a touch more industrial in this area and I actually really like how it turned out. I went with this seaweed farm here. I actually have never used this asset before and I think it fit in really well in this little tight spot. After using Find It to bring in some more generic industry to continue that look of an uh, old school type industrial waterfront, I bring in some walking paths and some surface painter to this area and then just filled out with a few more generic industry and a little bit of office space. This time I was very careful to make sure I mark everything historical, especially with the generic industry, so I keep that. Um, old industrial waterfront look I'm going for in this area. The next thing I want to do was make sure I brought in a specific like a dedicated bike path through this area and then a small pedestrian path across our couplet that way people can easily bike to work that was really important. I was still having an issue with not enough workers so I decided to do some high density in this area. This ends up getting changed. This came together, it was a little sloppy and I was just trying to solve an issue and I end up redoing this because again, this is just kind of me playing the game today and I do like when I can plan things out and prepare ahead of time. So this is not what this ends up looking like similar but it's much better uh, when I redo it. The next thing I noticed that we were starting to get some traffic build up so what I did was create a dedicated road for truck traffic. It ends up working really well um, from the point that our kind of industry area ends up to our main road. I went ahead and up the speed limit on that section of the road so trucks would prefer that. Additionally, I banned cars on this section of the road and I banned cars from the above corresponding section in our couplet. By the way, the couplets in our city have been working so well. I think they are just great. Also, the cool thing about the couplets is the space in between them that I've left provides opportunity for a green space which as you know is a big part of the concept of the 15 minute city. So you'll see in the detailing session here in a minute how I utilize that space and I think it turns out so great. I just use a little giveaways here and then I noticed that a lot of the reason the traffic is slowing so much is actually because of all the pedestrian and bike traffic. So I end up making a, another bridge across the road. <laughs> and eventually once we get to building in this area, I may end up changing this, but for right now, this worked out the way I needed it to for traffic purposes. So this really helps clear things out. And then I'm able to ban crossing on where our couplets come into and just force the bike traffic to 
uh, stay away from this very busy intersection. Doing all this and creating that second road for the truck traffic clears everything out and the traffic problem gets solved, which made me uh, so happy. Okay, this is where I completely destroy this housing area and start completely from scratch. I just was looking at this and I was not happy with it, but I'm really happy with how it turns out. And then we get back to the thing I like so much is a detailing. Like I said before, I am so happy with how couplets are performing in our city. They're really my favorite. These one way with these lovely protected bike roads have just been so helpful for our city. And I love leaving this space in between because like I said, it provides opportunity for little things like this farmer's market and green space and just more connectivity. All right, then I turn my attention back to this pedestrian area that I'm creating. Again, I've banned cars from this area. So this is really like a very walkable, miniature, high density area in our city. I love these green city buildings. I think they look so beautiful. I think the thing is, is making sure that you do mark them historical right away, unless you want them to be really tall because they will grow but this size right here I am loving and we're creating like who wouldn't want to live in this spot if you're into like high density living of course but you've got everything right here you can walk to everything and you've got an, an amplitude if that's the right word <laughs> you've got so many jobs right across the street you can bike you can take the bus you can walk to work and you can get to everything you could possibly want and I loved putting this park in the middle making it like the heart of this little pedestrian um, kind of pocket you know we did the pocket hoods last time this is like <laughs> this isn't a pocket hood but this is a 
condensed place of high density, but just like everything's right here. And that's the whole idea behind, behind the concept of the 50 minute city. If Joy can talk, is just creating a place where you can live and work and shop and get all your needs met within a very short, again, 15 minute walk. Okay, once I had all these buildings in place, I marked them all historical, and then I went around and just added in some final detailing touches to this area. person who likes completion and we have this one little area left I want to do today I decided instead of a green space that we could really pack in some of these vanilla small higher density apartment buildings this would just be such a convenient place to live you're right across the street from our pedestrian hub where you've got all the serve city services you've got shops really close by you've got green space you can walk across to work it just made sense to go ahead and pack some more people in this spot all right guys here we go this is our new area we've got our not enough goods issue fixed i am so excited and we have this whole new neighborhood which i really like this mixture of the green cities and then you've got the old school waterfront we've got our couplet in the middle with all this green space and everything's just working really well i love how this came out i'll leave it there i hope you guys have a joyful day and i'll catch you next time Demons tell